welcome back. And as you can see in front of me, and some of you might even recognize the uh, multicolored uh, duct tape as a hallmark of West Coast Picks. This is a package from West Coast Picks. Uh, me and him worked out a trade. So uh, he actually uh, got my package today and texted me and said that, uh, by the way, that mine is sitting in my P.O. box. Just arrived today, too. So pretty good timing. We both got our packages on the same day. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what all Harley stuck in here. Harley's a great guy, a uh, really cool Lockport sport uh, community member. And I've got a metal box. And okay, that's all that's in the box. Oh, sweet. You guys can't see this because it's off camera right now. So let me uh, just adjust the camera a little bit. He uh, 3D prints these little pinning trays. And uh, he made one with uh, my name on it and put my uh, logo in the uh, parts tray. Uh, it's got plenty of pin slots. Got a nice depth to them. I don't think I'll be having trouble picking the pins up out of there. And he put a uh, felt backer on it. So uh, it sits there nicely. doesn't scoot too bad. So that is really cool. Uh, thank you very much, Harley. This is actually the first 3D printed thing that somebody sent me. So let's uh, set that over there and we'll get this other part in frame. And we got a, uh, well, we got a combination safe. <laughs> these are cool. I've, uh, I've seen these. It says combinations on the bottom, so I guess I probably should open it from the top. Uh, but it's a combination bank, piggy bank. So uh, I'm not sure how to decode these, though. So let's see here. Uh, oh, wow. So maybe if I pull out and spin, it binds in certain places. Okay, it binds pretty much in that same spot every rotation, doesn't it? Okay, so... Let's go a little slower and see what exact number it is. Okay, it looks like it's binding on 45 or 44. So, we'll pull it the other way. Looks like it's bound there. Maybe not. I'm not too good of a decoder on these things. But let's start with uh, 45. Let's go with uh, 4 or 16. I'm not real sure what I'm doing. I've never seen any of these decoded. Um, we'll have to save the decoding for another video. Uh, let's see here. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I guess I had it pretty close to there, and I just pulled on it a little bit, and it came open. Uh, oh, and it's plumb full of locks. Oh, this is some uh, pretty neat stuff for handles. What is this? This is... Ooh, that's going to make some lovely handles. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. And the thickness of it is, uh, I might actually just be able to cut a groove down the center of it and wind up with uh, scales that like uh, the thickness I normally use. But this is some really neat looking stuff. I don't know what that is. So let's set that aside. 
And uh, let's scoot this back, get in frame better. Okay, we'll see what that is here in a second. Okay, I got a little container with some locks. I got, uh, you know, somebody who's been watching some old TV. I got Xena the Warrior Princess here, big old bow on this key. Uh, pretty cool, whoa, pretty cool stuff. Uh, and okay, um, he's done something here. with this key it looks like it functions normally unless there's something that he built into this i don't know we'll have to see about that that's pretty wicked um let's see here i've got witness of an accident um potty 314 it's a wiser keyway wr5 key I think I just saw him pick this on his uh, channel not too long ago. But uh, pretty cool looking lock. Potty locks are always really fun to pick. So let's go ahead and stick that in there. Make sure I don't lose anything. Okay, I got another potty lock. Um, this one, don't see a name on it anywhere. So let's go ahead and take it out and take a look at it. Pin by Potty314. He didn't put a name on it, but it's dated uh, July 9th of this year. And it's an Abus Buffo. With a pretty drastic bidding, so that's going to be a blast. So, let's put that back in the bag. I don't want to lose any of this stuff. Oh, and I'm dropping stuff. No! And this little... Uh, tray must come with the uh, the safe okay it's a combination lock it says right there the combination is set to four zeros and uh, you can turn the key to open the lock and there's our key so it's a key bypass master lock 176 um, so you can either use the combo um, or you can use the key, so that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, we'll see if we can get by that any other way than just the key. I do have a uh, a knife shim, so I don't know if I could bypass that or not. So that's pretty cool. Oh, what else what we have here? We have the Wraith, another challenge locked by West Coast Picks, and that is a Schlage. So that's going to be a fun one to get into. Um, I've got a, oh my God, I've got another Medico. Um, I'm going to really have to spend some time on these, learn how to pick these suckers. Um, really cool Medico 51S. I've got a few of these hanging around here now. Uh, one or two Medicos on loan, and uh, then I've got a couple in my collection. But uh, that's freaking cool. And it has a working key. I, I think this is the first one that I got uh, besides a couple of the uh, Unicams that still Pennings gave me that have working keys. So that is, that's awesome, man. I mean, that's some high security stuff right there. Let's see here, we've got a Euro. He's got it stamped WCP on the front. And this one's the Nambi Bear by West Coast Picks. Very nice. I love Euro cylinders. This one, uh, you guys can see there, that looks like it's been uh, tapped and threaded and a whole lot of work's been done to the top of it. Wow, Harley, you're, you put a lot of stuff in here, man. Um, so I went for it by Dairy Whip, his fifth lock. Um, kind of a wiser keyway. Quick setish should be a pretty fun one to pick. It's awesome. And let's see here. This one will stick into that bag just a little bit. We've got another Schlage. Yep, Schlage. Got a big old bow on the key, and this one's called Kane. Okay. So uh, it might be a pretty badass lock with a name like that. Uh,
<laughs> named by West Coast Picks. It's called a Hellhound, uh, pinned by uh, Dairy Whip, but it's a uh, Sergeant as a Abloy Challenge Lock. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool, pretty fun lock to pick. Sergeants make insanely good challenge lock bases. They are always known to be tough to pick and a really cool challenge. And what in the world do I have here? Odysseus by West Coast Picks. It is a lock. Okay, let's take this out of the bag real quick. I'm going to take it off camera. This is pretty cool. It's a lock inside of a 3D printed cylinder he made, and it's in one of those MX, so it has a pretty wicked keyway. That warding right there is uh, pretty nasty. Um, so that'll be a fun one to get into. That's freaking cool. Um, so it looks like once this opens up, I can pull the lock out. Maybe there's something hidden inside of here. Sounds like it. It's not shaking around too much. But we'll see what we have inside of there. I'm going to have to get into that one here in maybe one of the next couple of videos or so. And I've got another, oh my gosh, another Sergeant Challenge Lock. And this one's got the uh, more of a quick set style core on it. Um, this is Experimental by 10 Man 13. That is awesome. Um, I've picked a couple of 10 Man's locks, and his locks are really fun to pick. Um, it's been quite a while since I've seen any of his stuff, though, so um, I'll be looking forward to getting into that. And I think that is all of it. So, man, he stuffed this thing full. So let's see what he stuck in the uh, tongue depressors here. Uh, grab my little knife and... Cut tape gingerly. Cut it against the tongue depressors here. Ooh, that feels like something nice. Oh my. That is... That looks like that pick was made out of, that pick handle was made out of epoxy resin. Because I've been seeing some epoxy resin pin turning blanks, and that looks like what I've seen. But that is, that's wicked. Uh, I'd say on thickness, it's probably right around 25 thousandths-ish. But it has a high polish on it. It's got my fingerprints all over it already, but... Uh, he uh, rounded everything. I don't. I don't even round everything on the picks I make. That is freaking cool. I polish up the sides, but I don't round everything. But uh, the size of this looks like. I would imagine he made this out of uh, stainless steel. So this might hold up really well. Nice deep hook. And even though it's kind of wide, it is comfortable to hold in the hand. So, that is cool. Maybe this stuff might be epoxy, too. Oh, it kind of looks like wood, though. Hard to tell. Um, that is awesome. So, let me set that over here. And, luckily, I accidentally decoded this thing. So, <laughs> let's just go ahead and set him off to the side. And... My curiosity is killing me, and you guys, this is going to probably wind up being a stupid long video. Um, if I do take a really long time on this, uh, picking it, then I will, uh, I will do some fast forward magic. So let me get some stuff situated. Try not to squeeze it too hard because I don't want to damage it. So I want to try to get the vise. You know what? I got something better than just 
that. They may be ugly, but they'll keep me from putting too much pressure on the plastic piece. Okay, that sh shouldn't move around any. All right, so let me slide some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, I'm not going to use his pick that he just sent me on this one, even though it is a gorgeous pick. Uh, I've actually thought about getting some of that stuff to make picks out of. I have picked up some Spectra ply, so that's going to be coming in my pick handles before too long. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to start out with one of the short hooks out of the Honest pick set. Yeah, I could go top of the key wave. I don't think I want to use my 50 thousandths pry bar. Yeah, 40 thousandths is a little bit better. There's pin three. Click from two, click from four, five is binding, but it's not wanting to do anything. So let me check the other pins. One, two, three. Come back into a false set. That is counter rotation on one. Okay, one is my pin with counter rotation now. So I'm going to switch from that to a pick that I can get a little bit more control on that first pin with. Oh, that's not pin one. That's pin two. Pin one is completely solid. Okay. I think I overdid pin two there. So I rotated back, dropped, and I got my false set back, but pin two is not giving me counter anymore. So let's check these other pins again. Ah! 
Whew, 36 minutes and 11 seconds into the video, guys. Uh, not including intro time and stuff like that. I finally got this bad boy open. Great lock, Harley, and great concept of putting whatever you hid inside of there in there because I've not seen it yet. So, oh, I'm dropping the key because I'm going to want to take a look at that. Okay. So, as you guys can see, I do have it unlocked. So I should be able to slide this out. Tight fit. And uh, see what is hidden back in here. Was a really tight fit. Oh, here we go. And we got something in there. Let's see what it is. And the last thing is we've got a little dimple cam lock. Um, I've got one of these, and I believe it came from West Coast Picks originally, but I got it from Pick Me 1977. Um, but now that I have two of these. I might actually replace the locks on my gun cabinet with these guys. <laughs> there we go. That is uh, what was inside of uh, Odysseus. So let's go ahead and look at that key. Pretty cool to hide a little peanut like that inside of there. I'm not going to make you guys suffer through this entire video, I already tell you. And my God, no wonder I had some time with that. Look at that bidding. Extreme Sawtooth bidding. One was an overset trap. Um, and I guarantee you I had some counter milling and maybe some undercutting um, in there. So let's set this off to the side. And uh, I imagine whenever I send Odysseus back out... Uh, I might hide something in there for the next guy. I like that idea. And we'll use this pinning tray. This tray will be great for building challenge locks on. There's so many slots on it. Ooh. Tight shim. Tight, tight shim. I got it in there before bending the darn thing. Okay, so this is going to take my Schlage type follower. And I already see some madness. Pin one is all the way at the very tip top. Uh, and pin four is pretty insane too. You can tell it's a pin and pin. So let's go ahead and dump these out. So I've got a very tall spool pin in there in one. I've got a serrated in two. I've got a serrated in three, a little bitty short serrated in four, pin five. Yeah, we'll have to take a closer look at that one. And pin six. Okay, so looking at the core mods, there actually isn't any counter milling that I see in here, uh, just threads in chambers two, three, and four. My man, that is one heck of a bidding. I'm amazed I picked that on my first attempt. 
even though it was a very long first attempt. Hopefully you guys are patient with me today. Okay, got a little short standard. Got a nice serrated, double serrated spool. There we go. Let me throw my uh, tools all around the desk for you guys. Another nice uh, serrated spool. Oh, this one has some spring tension. Very nice serrated. That spring came right on out of there. Ah, there's a drunken spool there. There's my wafer. And we'll go ahead and get the rest of this out from the other side. There's my wedding cake pin. I was waiting for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pins that are in this lock. I think I need to do some pulling apart on this pin. Yes, I do. Let's check these other pins, make sure they're not pinning pins too. Because I'm sneaky like that, and I know West Coast Picks is pretty sneaky, so. But nope, those aren't. Okay, so thank you guys for your patience, but uh, here's our look at these pins. Uh, very nice pins. Um, so what we see here is in pin one is a very, very tall overset trap spool with a little bitty short driver pin with a copper spring. It's actually been shortened. And I've got a little serrated. So I'm going to line these right up. You guys can see how crazy that uh, difference is there. A really nice double serrated spool. That's got a copper spring. Then I've got a nicely serrated with another really nice serrated spool. Now it's got a steel spring. I've got a single serration. Then I've got one that's serrated all the way down, and it's got a little bit of a wider serration up top for a different feel. And that one's got uh, a copper spring. Then here's where the fun comes in, is a uh, pin four is another kind of trap, but it is a pin and pin key pin with a drunken spool driver. So really crazy stuff on this drunken spool. As you guys can see, it is stepped down. And the uh, top pin is right here. So it just rides on top of that and uh, wobbles back and forth. So we got a nice uh, serrated here with the West Coast Picks trademark pin, the wedding cake. And this one is a serrated wedding cake. And then, by the way, that's a steel and then another copper. Uh, Harley, man. Thanks for that awesome lock. Uh, that uh, was a pretty good challenge to get into for an out-of-the-box pick. I'm amazed I actually had the patience to stick with it. Uh, thanks for this awesome uh, tin. Um, it's really cool. Uh, and this massive pile of locks, my friend. That is going to go a long way. Um, I can already tell you that maybe one or two might wind up in the naughty bucket, but uh, we'll see. Um, I got lucky as hell opening this thing. <laughs> so everyone, please be safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.